I'm more of a behind the scenes person, so uh, that's what I'm more used to. But today she took center stage at the Capitol. Stacey Bennett served her first day as a state senator. Good evening, I'm Jessica Kuhn. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Bennett is finishing the rest of her late husband's term before it ends next week. Scott Bennett served Champaign and Vermilion counties for almost seven years. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Cole Henke is live at the Capitol. Cole, this is a position Stacey Bennett never imagined she would be in. That's right. Dr. Stacey Bennett has barely had a chance to stop and think in the past month ever since her husband died. And she told me she actually laughed out loud when party officials in Champaign County asked her to fill out the rest of his term here in the Capitol. But today, during her first day in the Capitol, she said it just felt right. Dr. Stacey Bennett has had a unique perspective on Illinois politics. Her doctorate in education policy and leadership, along with a background in policy making, gives her a better understanding of the issues than most. But she also got to hear all of the behind the scenes drama, confusion, and stories from her late husband. He would be frustrated, obviously, when you know people were not, um, people were you know just staying in their um, on, in their lanes. The now senator Stacy Bennett will only serve for another week, and she had only one word to describe her experience as she sat in her husband's office. It's still very surreal. Scott Bennett's sudden death in early December rocked the legislature. Lawmakers from both sides of the aisle used the same words to describe him, saying he was funny, kind, and always tried to bridge the ever-widening gap in politics. Hearing such a consistent message about Scott was reassuring to Stacy. Often when you're in a position like him and he tried to, to work with both sides, sometimes both sides are mad at him because both of them are giving up something. And so uh, it was nice to hear that people did appreciate that and did recognize that. She's been trying to stay out of the spotlight for the past month, but she did give some insight into the conversations she had with her late husband this fall. He was finishing up one of the more controversial negotiations of his career, amending the Safety Act. And she says those long nights led him to think about hanging it up after his next term. I don't know if he personally was, was ready to leave. I think he still had, had many ideas of things he would like to do, but it was more about our kids. Now, Stacy's time in office will end next week when the new General Assembly is sworn in, but she told me that will not be the end of her efforts to continue Scott's legacy. She's currently trying to think of new ideas that she can work in areas like education and helping the disabled community, two big focuses for Scott after she leaves office. All right, and Cole, the Champaign and Vermilion County Democrats preparing to choose Bennett's replacement for the new term. Uh, she weighed in on the race this morning. Tell us about that. Well, yeah, that's right. Stacey Bennett put out a statement this morning listing four names that her and Scott had actually previously discussed as a potentially good replacement for him if he were to choose to retire in the future. And those names are... On the current list, three of those four names are on the current list of applicants for his position. They are Champaign County School Board member Giannina Baker, Champaign Township Assessor Paul Ferracci, and Champaign Township Supervisor Andrew Kornstrom. The fourth person she named, Mary Catherine Roberson, is actually on the advisory committee that will be making a recommendation to party chairs later this week. And noticeably missing from this list are two pretty po prominent applicants. Current Representative Carol Ammons and Champaign County Democratic Party Chair Mike Ingram. Those were not listed. Jennifer. All right.